So you want to become an expert and sell products into Google sites totally for free. So let's take a look into how we can get started today. I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description so we can go into sites.google.com. Here, what you can do is to sell stuff here into Google sites. It's an amazing place to create an actual website from Google and of course, totally for free. So to get started, usually what we do is to, of course, access Google sites. So once we are here into the sites.google.com, let's go and create a new site. So you can choose choose a template or start with a blank page depending on your preferences. If you want to do this in a very easy way, I'm going to show you, let's say for example, like a template gallery and you can see they have stuff for like an event, uh, educational and so much more. Usually what we do is to get started with an actual blank site, but that's totally optional. So in this case, what I'm going to do here is just to go for the highlight type and go for title only and I want to show this. Now here, what you want to do is to customize your site. Customizing your site to reflect your brand and showcase your product effectively so you can add pages, navigation menus, and branding elements such as your logos and colors. So before we focus into adding an actual product page, I'm going to be showing you the actual tools that the actual Google site can help us get started with. Focusing to the right part, you can see that we have the insert part. Inside the insert, here are all the foundations, all the stuff that we can add directly here. For example, we have content blocks, we have collapsible groups, table contents, carousels, button, divider space, social links, placeholder, and so much more stuff that you can use drag and drop. Only click into one element you want to add, for example, this content block, and automatically this new section is going to be created. You can move this section from one into another one. What I wanted to do is to use this content block to add the image of my product, the title of my product, and the description of the product. Later on, I'm going to be adding an actual buy now button. Then here into the right part, once again, instead of going for the insert, let's go for the pages. Here, what you can do is to add a product page, a contact form, FIQ section, and so much more. And lastly, here we have the actual themes. Check out all the stuff that's going to be gathered the design of your actual website. If you choose something else, automatically it's going to be changed to the colors and all of that. So if you choose one of those, you can go here and select, of course, more different colors. Even you can create your own custom theme by choosing the name, your own logo, the banner image, and so much more. Lastly, guys, I can go directly here into this bar, this setting. And here you can change the navigation bar, adding your own brand images, choose your actual viewer tools. If you want, you can add your own custom domain. We have an actual whole video of checking this out, the analytics and the announcement bar. Now, with that being said, let's go and get started in using all of these tools to adding an actual product. So I have my very first image of my product. I'm going to go for product example number one. And here into the description, I can type the product sample description. This is just one product that you can buy today. And now what I want to do down here is to add the buy now button, right? So let's assume that we have a little bit more of information about the description. So you can see it's going to be more filled. And now here, what you can do is to add this section that says button. And here I'm going to go for buy now and go and add the link of the product that you do have now. So in my case, I'm going to go and just add YouTube as an example. So you can check out how it actually looks at the button of the buy now. But this is the part where you're going to be focusing on. If you wanted to sell products totally for free, you needed to list your product somewhere. They actually don't charge you to make the buy now uh, stuff to, to list your products, right? So for example, Etsy, uh, Shopify, all of those stuff charge you for uh, uploading products and creating a store. So if you wanted to get started by adding some products and of course charge for this totally for free, then what you wanted to do is to go here into Stripe. Stripe.com is like an alternative of PayPal and here you can do exactly the same thing. You can generate an actual link, a buy button link and add that button link directly inside your actual store. This is what we're going to be doing today. So if I go directly here inside my uh, Stripe account, what I wanted to do is to create an actual page link. So I can do exactly the same thing that I just did, but first I'm going to add my actual product. So I'm going to add a new product, number one, the description, and here is the actual price. So let's say for example, we are charging $6 for the actual product. And here I'm going to add the product and here 
it's how it should be looking uh, the actual window of when somebody clicked into pay, right? So what you can do here is now to create the link. Lastly, I'm going to go here and to publish. Inside here, it's going to be asking you what is the actual name of the web address. In this case, let's go for a product example. And here you're going to go for published. The product has now been published and the website, of course, now been published. You can go here into view and you can check out how it actually looks your product. And then, as you can see, this actual product, uh, we have done this really easy. I have done uh, adding an actual image, the title, the description, and I choose the PayPal here. So it's going to be sending me directly here into the PayPal stuff. So this is just an example of how you can, of course, uh, publish your products totally for free using the sites.google.com. Of course, this is too basic for us. You can do a lot of stuff here into Google Sites, but this is, let's say, for example, like limited stuff that you can do totally for free, just in case you wanted to create like a website totally for free and you don't want to pay monthly or, you know, do those kind of stuff. Uh, basically, Google Sites do what you actually need, which is just going straight to the point, which is um, adding products and sell those into your actual site. So there you have it, guys. You can create more sites if you wanted to. You can add more pages. You can add more themes. You can do so much more here into Google uh, Sites. So with that being said, we have now reached the very end of the video. But don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys. If you want to see more great tools, how we can get started here into the Google Sites. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully, we can all see you into a brand new video of TechPress. See you soon.